Scotland is witnessing one of the biggest strikes seeking equal pay for women in the recent history of the United Kingdom. Thousands of women working in schools and home care sectors have embarked on a two-day strike backed by two major unions, GMB and Unison. Campaigners argue that the City Council's Workforce Pay and Benefits Review Scheme that was introduced in 2006 led to women workers in school, catering and home care services receiving up to £3 an hour less than salaries in male-dominated jobs. The provision for a three-year payment protection for men who lost out on bonuses as a result of the changes was not extended to women. The scheme qualifies staff contracted for more than 37 hours for extra payments. Women who comprise 70% of the council workforce work for less than 35 hours and hence continue to remain ineligible. Women working in school administration, learning support, nurseries, home care, cleaning and catering organize picket lines and marches to protest against the discriminatory attitude of the Glasgow City Council. Uh, my name's Joan Thompson. I'm out here to stand up for all the women in Glasgow who have been underpaid and robbed for 12 years by the City Council. It says Glasgow City Council robbed the poor to feed the rich fat cats. Despite the highest court in Scotland, the Court of Sessions, ruling in 2017 that the city's pay system was discriminatory towards women, the City Council refused to end the gender pay gap. The local administration has spent more than £2.5 million to contest the equal pay claims by female workers over the past 10 years. The Glasgow strike has evoked memories of the great 1910 strike for minimum wages by women workers of small chain manufacturing units in the Cradley Heath area in the West Midlands. In 1910, women's rights campaigner Mary MacArthur organized the women workers under the banner of the National Federation of Women Workers for a 10-day strike that ended on October 22, forcing the employers to pay the women a minimum wage. The 1910 movement gave rise to the famous song Rouse Ye Women that talked about the conditions of sweated labor low-paying, heavy work, and celebrated united action through the trade unions. Rouse ye women, long enduring, beat no iron, blow no bellows, till you win the fight, ensuring pay that is your due. Taking inspiration from the 1910 strike, Glasgow's women workers are determined to end the pay injustice. Yeah.